it going guys? Pony Lover 1989 here and welcome to another reaction episode. Well, hope you enjoyed my entire reaction of the horribly translated Paper Mario Color Splash by Solargrass. Now I have to do another suggested reaction from something different 765. I've only seen a few episodes of the first longest running TV show, The Power Rangers. Well, actually the old first season from the 1990s, but never got to actually seeing the other seasons yet. Anyway, this review is made by the Six Ranger, who is a also a huge Power Ranger fanatic. And this video is called, Why This is the Worst Season of Power Rangers Ever. Power Rangers Explain. Here we go in three, two one and let's let's mighty morphin time oh this is an ad for schwarzkopf and chips away but new glutton free wow i would like to try that the formula has always been simple Take cool characters and footage from a Japanese show, film some original say Sentai Dai Ranger. So that the stories make sense. Of course there's a lot more to it than just that, but at its most simple, that's by Savin Entertainment and Hasbro, the creator of Transformers, G.I. Joe, Littlest Pet Shop, and My Little Pony. In today's video, we will be talking about Nickelodeon? So well, and I'll be giving my thoughts on what I think is the worst season of Power Rangers. Time. The worst Let's season. Into it. The Six Rangers intro. Now, like I Almost said, looks like a Dragon Ball, Ball Z Rangers character. The worst season of Power Rangers. Let's start with one of the least popular shows in the franchise's history. Power Rangers Operation, Operation Overdrive, Overdrive the from Boom Studios and Hasbro. Ever. And when your entire season is based around a core group of five or six unpopular characters. There's not really a lot of hope for the story. Apparently, the premise of the show was to make it the Indiana Jones of Power Rangers. Indiana Rangers. Jones Sick parody? New exotic locations with every episode and story. Disney, the You're hearing this me out. supposedly loved this idea. However, they gave the production team a very small budget and asked them to use as much stock footage as possible from the Source Super Sentai series, Go Go Sentai Kanga. I apologize if I butchered the pronunciation of that. I'm Sentai like TV shows from from Japan. <laughs> They're like, kind of like super su really like superhero power shows, power. right? Like anyway, Ultra 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 Ultraman. Based around extended use of existing footage. And Ginga Man. Story becomes much much harder, and it shows. Operation Overdrive, despite having a couple of good episodes and moments, such as the episodes Once a Ranger, one of my favorite Power Ranger episodes ever, it was still not a good series. Not mm. to mention, the theme was awful. And starting each episode with a theme that sucks instantly makes me like the show a little less. I just can't help it. Now mm. let's talk about another of the more obvious, most hated Power Rangers shows, Power Rangers Power Turbo. Rangers Turbo. to even start with this one. Well, let's start at the beginning. The production team didn't really help themselves with this one. In case you weren't aware, the source footage for Turbo was actually taken from the Sentai parody show. Which obviously a Sentai parody show? Footage. Well, it's just a bit silly, at least more than usual. It also introduced Justin, a character that was largely despised by fans. Oh, show Justin, a child everyone's least favorite character. To, but that was a mistake. The success of Power Rangers came from having lead characters that the child audience could look up to. They were their heroes. No kid wants to have a ten-year-old hero. It's just not the same. They also replaced Zordon with Demetria, which Demetria? was always going to disappoint. Hey, girl. The series villain Divatox was just kind of annoying. Oh, to make matters worse, Divatox? the season was just full of stupid plots. For example, the entire Ranger team being turned into a giant pizza. Now, while Pe this that don't even look like awful, pizza. In my opinion, the main issue for Turbo was the fact that it was coming off of Zio, a very popular show that fans really enjoyed. Then suddenly the Rangers were given these new powers and silly cars with next to no Cars? At least we still have a load of the Mighty Morphin Rangers on the team, right? That should make the show more watchable. Wrong. The 
team were switched out halfway through the season to make way for a completely new team. It's like they were trying their hardest to ruin the show themselves. Anyway, with all this being said, the show did still have some positives. The Phantom Ranger, without a doubt, being the main one. Also, the Blue Centurion. Both pretty cool and mysterious characters that have kept fans for decades since. Boom Studios even recently used the origin story of the Phantom Ranger to sell a new story of comics. And to be honest, it was pretty cool. Oh, and the theme tune... Is that from the IDW comics? Pump. Every time I hear it, it kind of makes me want to drive really fast. Steampunk. Which I definitely don't do. What, steampunk? So, with all this being said, Turbo <clears throat> School isn't my least favourite season of Power Rangers ever. That honour belongs to the Megaforce and Super Megaforce seasons. Megaforce. Now, Megaforce was intended to be the series going back to what works best. A leader slash mentor type character that is clearly based on Zordon, even having a connection to him. Then linking back to previous successful seasons by actually having the team have the ability to use their powers. Even that couldn't save the show. Because although it seems like a cool idea at first, it genuinely just comes across as an attempt to latch onto previous, more interesting ideas, instead of trying to make this one original and, well, just better. It says something when this season had the episode and the moment that we as Power Ranger fans have always wanted. A battle that features every Ranger team ever, all showing up in one epic battle. The problem was, even this wasn't great. Don't get me wrong, it had its moments and was still super cool to see. And I love seeing Tommy Oliver in green leave the Ranger. Tommy party. Oliver but in green? Day, it boils down to a scene filled with cameos from a couple of decent Rangers, but realistically, it's cameos seems from like the different shows? Selection of actors that were probably just the only ones available at the time. Tommy, TJ, Carone, and a few others, but realistically, let's be honest, we all wanted to see the return of other Mighty Morphin legends. How great would it have been to have seen Kimberly return, or Zack, or Billy? Something it's the original back from back the first, from the way. 1990s. I know, I know, I'm sure they tried their hardest to get these people involved, and I'm sure they did the best they could, but I just wasn't as pleased with the end results as I'd hoped to be. I hope so, guys. But it wasn't this battle that let the season down, far from it. It was probably the best moment. The biggest issue with this show is, without a doubt, the combination of poor writing and acting. The plots were unoriginal and boring, and the lack of emotion from the main cast is hard to watch. Lack of emotion. Yes, I am aware that this is a show aimed at kids, but this is when comparing it to other seasons of the same kids show. It's still very poor. Not only this, but it's just sort of weird the way they handle the source material. I mean, the show has a pirate aesthetic, but it doesn't really have much to do with anything. It's just kind of there, and I find it pretty distracting. A show that was intended to be a throwback and a tribute to the good old days of a far more interesting Power Rangers show crashed and burned horribly, and is without a doubt, at least in my opinion, the worst season of Power Rangers ever. Hmm. Of course, everything in this video yeah. is strictly my opinion, and I respect that others may strongly disagree, and that is absolutely fine. Just let me know in the comments down below what you think is the worst season of Power Rangers ever. Is it one of the ones that I've discussed today? If not, I'd be interested to hear what others think. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. We recently passed 70,000 subscribers. A goal that 70,000? Way by. So thank you all so much for your continued support. The main goal of 100,000 now feels like it's actually in sight. And looking at the channel analytics, only 20% of the viewers here have actually hit that subscribe button. So if the other 80% subscribed, we would actually fly past that goal. So if you enjoy the content here, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and all you need to do is click that big red button. It helps the channel out a lot. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. May the power protect you and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger. Well, that was pretty good for a review, but I gotta say that one of the worst, one of the worst seasons of the Power Rangers series would have to be the, hmm, I think, I think Mega Force would have to be the worst series. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway.
Thank you, thank you something different 765 for suggesting me to react to this video. That was my reaction to why this is the worst season of Power Rangers ever. Power Rangers Explained by the Sixth Ranger. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like me to react to more TV show, live action, Sentai shows like this, comment down below. Another reminder, if you really want me to watch and react to an entire anime TV series Pokemon, comment down below. And if you like my reaction to this video, click a thumbs up, give this video a like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for some updates of what you want me to do and what you want me to react to next. And don't forget to follow me on X, DeviantArt, and Tumblr. This is Lover 1989 and I'll see you all next time on the next reaction video. See ya!